be beaten, and now his owner wants to know who could do such a thing. This absolutely unthinkable crime, ruthless attack on an animal that couldn't defend itself. And tonight, the dog's owner talked to our Keller Russell about the loss of her precious puppy, Keller. Yeah, Courtney and Mike, the owner broke down in tears talking to me about her loss. She is filing a report with police here on Milwaukee's South Side tonight, hoping to find the people responsible. He was as close to me as pretty much one of my kids. Which is why Samantha Ballman is heartbroken. Someone beat and cut her one-year-old pit bull puppy Capone so badly he bled to death. His wounds so horrific we can't show you most of them. I thought he was going to be big old white face dog by the time he died. I didn't think he'd be a puppy. It happened near 35th and Lapham late Thursday night. Capone had been at Samantha's friend's house for a few days. The friend says Capone was in the fenced in backyard. When they checked on him, he was gone. Noticed the gate was open and then they went and saw in the front yard that he was out there, but two guys were over him just beating him. Bloody paw prints led to the neighbor's doorstep where Capone likely tried to seek shelter. Um, I heard a dog yelling for, like, yelling for help, like howling, like really bad. So I looked through the window, but I didn't see anything. Eduardo Leon and his parents had no idea the awful scene outside their front door until I showed them. Samantha's friends didn't get a good description of the alleged men who beat her dog. And with no known suspects, she has a message for other dog owners. Don't take your eyes off your dogs, even if it's for a second. Because that second they could be taken away from you. Now, Samantha feels like her dog may have been targeted because of its breed, but she tells me Capone was a submissive sweet dog that would never hurt anyone. Anyone with information should call police. On your side, live on Milwaukee's south side, Keller Russell, today's TMJ4. Yeah, the story just hurt.